Hey guys, Elvira's back with the rest of the preparations. And what we're gonna do is, here's the spinach. And basically we're just gonna chop it into nice little things. And see? And then, it's hot right now, but what I'm gonna do is just put it in this container because we're gonna leave it cool and then we're gonna put it in the refrigerator. And that's all you do. And it's much easier because you don't have to do it all at one time. So we're just gonna leave it cool. And we're gonna leave it cool. And then now we're gonna do our potatoes. And on the potatoes, what we do is, ah, um, we're gonna cut them up. Uh, well, guess we're gonna have to re rinse this and we got my cutting board because this is not working. Okay, we're back. Put this down. Okay. Try this again, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them like this. And how it works is I learned this thing a couple of cooking shows and it really works. So we're gonna cut the potatoes. And and I started doing the preps at the day before because I it, when you do it in the morning, I would get up at like five in the morning. And I'd be cooking all day and by the time I get a shower and everything and have people over, it was like, wow, you know, at the end I'm tired. And I couldn't really enjoy it, so I thought, you know, I'm going to do like my dad used to do, and I watch these cooking shows, and everybody talks about how they, uh, you know, do preps before, and it works. And I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. Well, it works, believe it or not. And... This is so easy. And it doesn't really matter the size because these are going to be mashed anyways. And all potatoes are 110 calories. I use the russet whites. Um, I, you know, that's all I'm using. And also I'll show you here in a minute. Um, the bread that's drying. I didn't cook it all the way and basically it'll dry in the oven overnight. That's what you want. And it gives you, and then tomorrow we'll show you how I make my stuffing and add everything together. And, you know, I don't mind that Easter we spend it, you know, our, our own families because it's sort of nice you don't have to go anywhere. And that was one thing that our father always did is we would go to the relatives the day before Easter. And then on Easter, we had Easter at home. And it's always been a tradition like that. And I still like it that way because I don't like to go anywhere. None of my sisters, we all do. We all spend with our families and, you know, and it's nice. And this is so easy. And, and the nice thing is, guys, you're having a healthy meal and you're not sitting there slaving over the stove for a whole day. And that's really nice. And that's what I think is the greatest thing about it. You're not slaving over the stove. And such a big thing. That's what we're doing. And then... So what we're going to do is now... We're going to, uh, I need a bigger pan. So, here's what we're doing. We are taking our potatoes and we're going to put them in this pan. And what we're going to do is rinse them off. I'll show you here. 
you're just going to fill the pan with water and you're going to rinse them. We have to rinse them. And that's the first thing you want to do is rinse them. So we're going to throw them in the colander here. And set the phone down. That's all you're going to do. And then we're just going to rinse them again to make sure that they're clean. Now, we're going to take the colander, you're going to shake it like this, and you're going to put the potatoes back in the pan. So you're going to put the potatoes back in the pan, then you're going to put more cold water. Now here's the trick. You're going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. The lemon juice is not going to make the potatoes lemon taste lemony or anything. What it's going to do is make the potatoes from that turning brown. I learned this on a couple cooking channel shows. And I was like, wow, this is really nice. So you can get all your meal preparation night that done the night before. And you don't have to sit there and slave over a stove the next day. You, get, you can get all your food done, make the table nice like I'll show you tomorrow. And then you have time to get a shower. And you have time to spend with your family like you should. It's a holiday. And there it is. So then... You just, I use, like again, uh, use two tablespoons of lemon juice. That's all you're gonna use. I just, I did pretty much know just from a pouring, so. Like this. Then, you're just gonna mix it. Like that. Put the lid on and stick them in the refrigerator. That's it. Now, I'll show you what we did with the other get this out and this is the bread look and you cut that bread up yeah you got your own little bread things for two times that's it you're gonna leave it in the oven overnight with the lid on that's it how cool is that guys you got everything done i showed you and we're gonna put these in the refrigerator and that's all you do put them in the refrigerator and you're good to go how great is that? Maybe 20 minutes of your time to a half hour the night before, and then the next day you do the cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed our little pre-Thanksgiving uh, preparation, and I hope you guys tune in. I'm going to show you a apple bread or a banana bread. I got to see which one we use when we had what we use, and see what people want. And I'm going to make that. And yes, I do bake. So I hope you stay tuned and tune in. But now you see all the preps. We got them in little containers and we're just gonna put them in the refrigerator. And then tomorrow we mix it all together. Well guys, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget, don't forget to hit subscribe. Elvira will be back in a bit. Bye.